In this Waterfowl Wednesday video, we're going to switch it up a little bit. And instead of talking about past hunts, we're going to talk about a couple of things. Number one, this weather coming up. Uh, if you've paid attention to social media the last few days, you can tell there's a lot of talk in the waterfowl world. There is a storm coming, finally. Uh, it's a matter of where it's going to fall. There's going to be a bowling ball of a low pressure system come out of the Rockies, cut across the middle part of the country, and it's just a matter of where's the snow going to fall. Um, temperatures are borderline. There's not a huge Arctic outbreak following this storm, but as of right now, as it stands, there's going to be a, a decent amount of snow somewhere between South Dakota and Southern Canada on across Northern Minnesota. Where it winds up, anybody's guess, Mother Nature is going to do what she wants. Uh, as you can see on some of these maps, there's a little bit of variance in this. And the only problem that I foresee what's going on here is up until this point, you could go all the way to Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories. Uh, if you've seen ice road truckers, that's where that shot. It's a long ways up there and they have still had well above normal temperatures, well above freezing temperatures, and you would be hard pressed to find ice or snow all the way up into there. So where do you think a lot of these mallards, the cold hardy mallards that everybody's waiting for are sitting? They're way up there. Uh, this snow is gonna fall south of them. So it's a matter of anybody's guess. Is it gonna turn some of them south? Or are they going to try to come south and get blocked by the snow? They're ducks, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, that's kind of the fun part about this. The only way you can find out is to go and, uh, and see for yourself. Uh, you know, as we've said in the past, you never know unless you go. So as this storm starts to affect the country here, Friday and Saturday, uh, best bet is to be out there and see what's gonna happen for yourself. And as all this weather is taking place across the middle of the country, Ryan and I are gonna be in Rock Hill, South Carolina at the Nickel Store. If you're unfamiliar with the Nickel Store, like I said, it's in Rock Hill. Huge sporting goods store. We're gonna be there on Saturday, give a couple seminars. Come tell some duck hunting lies, come chit chat. We'd love to meet you guys. And most importantly, we're gonna be there to talk about the Beretta waterfowl shotguns. We're gonna have the A300 Outlander, the A350 Extrema, and the A400 Extreme. And if you purchase a new Beretta this weekend or anytime between now and November 30th, you can gun up and gear up. You'll receive up to $150 in Beretta merchandise, depending on which model you purchase. You know, if you're unfamiliar with the Beretta lineup of shotguns, it's kind of the good, better, best mentality. They have three shotguns that's gonna fit everybody's budget, everybody's price tag, and everybody's desires on what they want in a shotgun. Three inch gun to three and a half inch gun. Some have more bells and whistles than the other. It's a matter of what fits your budget and uh, what kind of gun you're looking for. So again, that's this Saturday at the Nickel Store in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Come chit chat, meet us. Uh, we'd love to tell some duck hunting lies with you, share some stories, and uh, thanks for watching this week's Waterfowl Wednesday.